Okay, so this section here is our last little bit on this solving stuff. So our central question today is, how do I know how many solutions there are to an equation? So we've dipped into this a little bit, but we're going to go deeper into it today. I'll let you copy this stuff down you see on the screen here, and then we will talk about it. Okay, so when we solve equations, there's three kinds of answers that we can get. Number one, right here in green, is what we're used to doing. We solve it and you get x equals a number. That's one option. x is equal to one number. So let's do this example. Let's solve this example together. So if we were to solve this, maybe I subtract 3x from both sides. So that that's gone, this was a negative five. This becomes just x plus three. Subtract three from both sides to get rid of any addition and subtraction, or yeah, addition and subtraction. Negative five and three more negatives is negative eight x and the threes are gone. So then our answer, we just flip it around, x equals negative eight. So that's what we mean when we say x is equal to a number. That's the one you're used to, super easy. There's two other possibilities. The next possibility is that there could be no solution, meaning that there is no number out there that x can be equal to that will make this equation true. We've dealt with this before. What it looks like when you're done, when you've done all your solving steps, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get to the end and you're not gonna have any variables in the equation. You're just gonna have numbers. So let's see what that looks like with this example problem. Go ahead and solve it and see what you get. Okay, so if I subtract, 2x from this side, you subtract 2x from that side, you have negative 2, that's gone, that's gone, and you get negative 7. So we stop solving there because there are no variables left. Doesn't mean you did anything wrong, it just means that there are no answers, there are no solutions to that equation, that's not a circle. There's no solutions to that equation. Apparently it really wants to draw whatever shape that is. No solutions to that equation. So when you solve it, there are no X's left over. When that happens, your answer would be no solution. So X, your answers can be a number, it can be no solutions, or the third option is it can be any solutions. So what any solutions means is X could be any number, it could be every single number, and your left will always equal your right. And what it, this looks like when you're done solving is you'll actually end up with zero equals zero. So if we were to solve this one, go ahead and solve it and see what happens. We are going to subtract 4x. We're going to subtract 4x. Those are gone, negative three equals negative three. Those are gone. Okay, so we know that if we add three to both sides, that we're gonna end up with zero equals zero. The other thing to look for with an any solution is the left should be the exact same as the right. So if I were to rewrite this, I have four X minus three equals minus three and four X. This is the same thing as that, which means no matter what number X is, they will always be true. So 
whether, you know, if you don't fully understand what that means, that's fine, but you need to know these three things to look for when you're solving. You're either gonna get a number as an answer, or you're gonna get one where you have a false statement because negative two is not equal to negative seven. That means there's no answers, or you're gonna end up with zero equals zero because the left and the right side are exactly the same, meaning every number is an answer. So what questions do you have for me on the three kinds of solutions.